Hi, Bixby. What do you want to say to the viewers? You guys should subscribe to the channel and smack that notification bell so you can be the first to know when all of Eric's dope videos drop. What's up guys, Eric here from Episode TV, and today we're taking a look at the top 15 practical slash advanced Bixby features. I was gonna split this up into two videos, but then I quickly realized that a lot of the advanced features are actually pretty practical, so I decided to include both of them in the same video. Before we go any further, I just wanna point out that this video is shot wide on purpose, so if you're using a Galaxy Note 8 or even a Galaxy S8, you can go ahead and hit that full screen button now and not have to worry about any part of the video getting cut off. I do have to throw out one quick disclaimer. Since Bixby's really new, there are some issues with it, mainly the fact that sometimes these commands may not work, and then later in the day they'll suddenly start working again. Or maybe they won't work one day, but they'll work two or three days later. So if when you're watching this video you try some of these commands and they don't work on your device, try again later in the day or maybe in a week or something like that. But if you're watching this video maybe a couple months from now, hopefully at that point everything will be ironed out and everything will work consistently. Before we get to the features, I want to point out real quick that for anyone who absolutely hates the Bixby button and wants to get rid of it, they hate clicking the button and having Bixby pop up, you can actually disable it now by swiping over to Bixby, tapping this little settings gear, and then tapping this toggle. That's going to make this key do absolutely nothing. However, I'd wait until the end of this video before you do that because I'm pretty sure that by the time you're done seeing these features, you're going to want to go ahead and keep this button working. So first up, we have the ability to quickly access anything in your settings. So let's say you're going out after work one night and you want to know how much more time you have left before your phone dies because you want to know if you're going to make it through the night or if maybe you need to turn on some kind of power saving mode. All you have to do is say, hi Bixby, how much battery life do I have left? Okay, your estimated battery life is 9 hours 37 minutes. All right, not bad. Now, let's say it was only, you know, 30 minutes or something short like that, maybe an hour, and I know I'm going to be gone for three or four hours, then I can just say something like, Hi Bixby, turn on max power saving mode. Done. Maximum power saving mode is on. So I want to point out one more really useful feature in the settings. Let's say you've been using a lot of your mobile data recently and you want to know how much you've actually used so you don't go over your limit. All you have to do is say, Hi Bixby, how much data have I used? Okay, here's your data usage. Another useful thing you could ask Bixby to do is just turn off your mobile data. Or you can go ahead and ask it to optimize your device, which will go ahead and shut down any background applications and delete any temporary files you have on your device to clear up some storage space. Obviously, this is just a really short list of things that Bixby can do in your settings, but literally any setting you have, you can turn on or off using Bixby or even check different things. Like if you want to see if there's an update available for your phone, you can check that because that's in settings. So anything you want to do in settings, anything you want to find in settings, just ask Bixby and it's going to take you right there. Another great feature is the ability to dictate text in any app. All you have to do is say dictate followed by whatever it is that you want to write down. Hi Bixby. Dictate. This is voice dictation with Bixby. Done. I got that down. If you've ever been in a city and wanted to quickly find a place to eat, you can say, Hi Bixby. Open Bixby Vision and show nearby restaurants. On it, scanning for results now. Let's check for nearby places now. Bixby will open your camera and show information about restaurants that you're pointing your camera at. Just look around with the camera to see where the restaurants are, how far away they are, and get even more information about the restaurants by tapping on them. This also works for bars, coffee shops, stores, and galleries. Another feature that I personally use a lot is the ability to control your smart home. So all I have to say is something like, Hi Bixby. Open Samsung Connect and change the brightness of the lights in my bedroom to 37%. Okay, it's set to that level. 
Now, obviously this can be used for more than just lights. So for example, I could say, hi Bixby. Turn on the air conditioner outlet. All right, I've turned it on. Or I could even say, hi Bixby. What's the temperature of the multi-purpose sensor in the kids' room? Certainly. The sensor's temperature is 72.0 Fahrenheit. Not bad. But as you can tell, some of these commands are kind of long and cumbersome, so you can actually shorten commands with something called quick commands. To do that, just navigate to Bixby by pressing the Bixby button. Tap the three dots up here. Tap my Bixby. Then scroll down to Quick Commands, and then tap Add, then you add a Quick Command. And from here I can just say something like, Temperature in the Kids Room. Save that. Then I can add the Bixby Command, select from my history, and you can see here, what's the temperature of the, of the multipurpose sensor in the Kids Room, I can just tap that, and then tap Save. So now, if I back out of here and I just say, hi Bixby, temperature in the kids room, it's going to go ahead and open Samsung Connect and tell me the temperature. All right, the sensor's temperature is 72.0 Fahrenheit right now. So I showed you a few quick examples of some of the things you could do, but there's a whole lot more when you look at this list of things that you can add. You can add televisions, vacuums, refrigerators, even ovens. They've got all sorts of motion sensors, doorbells, cameras, present sensors, a ton of different things here. And all of these can be controlled with your voice using Bixby. Basically, you can control pretty much your entire smart home with Bixby. Have you ever downloaded something from the internet just to later wonder where on earth that's saved on your phone when it's not in your notification shade anymore? That's actually a question I get asked a lot in my personal life, so I figured I'd go ahead and throw it in this video to show you how you can quickly find that kind of stuff with Bixby. All you have to do is say, hi Bixby, show my recent downloads. Done. That category is right here. There you go. That's how you find your downloads on a Galaxy Note 8 with Bixby, or a Galaxy S8 as well. But it goes a lot further than that. This is the My Files app, and you can even search for files by name. So I could say something like, Hi Bixby, find flight confirmation in My Files. Look here, I got the files for you. And you don't even need the whole name. So if I knew that just the word flight was in it, but I didn't know what else was in it, I could have just said find flight, and it would have found flight, and then it would still would have pointed out flight confirmation here. Or if you want to, you can also search by file types and a bunch of different things. Basically, if you're looking for any file saved on your phone and you have a rough idea of what it might be called or the file type, just ask Bixby to look for it in your files app and chances are it'll find it for you. Hi Bixby. Help me out with this next one. Sure thing. Eric told you a bit earlier that you can shorten long commands using quick commands, but he didn't tell you that you can also combine multiple tasks with a single command. For example, if you want to quickly make a collage of a few photo, booth, style, selfies, you can set up a quick command to take for selfies then automatically create a collage with the photos. Eric, I'll hand it back to you to demonstrate this. All right, so obviously Bixby pronounces things a little interestingly sometimes, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and demonstrate what she's talking about here for you guys. So the first thing I need to do is take a selfie using Bixby. So to do that, all I need to say is, hi Bixby, take a selfie. Now it's going to open my front facing camera and snap a selfie shot with the timer in the top right. So there you go, snaps a selfie. Got it. Picture taken. And then the other part of this is the collage. So now I just need to ask Bixby to make a collage for me using the last four photos. To do that, all I say is, hi Bixby. Make a collage with the last four photos I took. Let's edit first, then tap or say save. 
So from here, I can go ahead and change the layout to anything I want. And basically, this is just a regular four picture collage that you'd be able to edit. And then I would tap save and be done. But now that I've done this, let's go ahead and set up the quick command. Hi, Bixby. Open Bixby and go to quick commands. Okay, you can use any of the quick commands here. So from here, I'm going to add another quick command. Tap add command. And I'm going to call this photo booth. I'm going to save it. Add a command. Search for my history. I had to take a selfie, so I'm just going to tap that. But I want to take four selfies. So I'm going to go into history again. Tap it again. Go into history again. Tap take a selfie again. And go into history one more time. Tap selfie again. So there are the four mm -hmm. selfies to mm -hmm. make the collage. Now I need to add one more command, search history, and make a collage with the last four photos I took, tap that. And now, anytime I say photo booth, Bixby's gonna take four selfies and then start making a collage out of those four photos. I'll speed up the demonstration for this so you can see how it works. First, I'm gonna just save this, go home. Hi, Bixby. Photo booth. So this is a great feature for people who like to make a lot of collages when they're out with friends. Maybe they're out at a party or maybe they're at Six Flags or something like that. And they just want one of those photo booth style collages. This is a great way to do that really quickly. And you'll notice that between each photo, a timer goes again so you could pose for your next shot. Now, this was an example with selfies and putting it into collage mode. But another thing you can do is maybe make a command called landscape. And that'll have Bixby take a panorama photo and then automatically save that into a landscapes album. So basically, any type of editing you want to do, like even if you wanted to do like a take a black and white photo or take a photo with these types of filters or film in 4K or film in 1080p or all these different types of things, by combining commands, that gives you a lot of different things that you can do just within the camera and the gallery app. On the topic of quick commands, these get really powerful when you combine actions from multiple apps. Just take a look at how much Bixby gets done when I just say the simple command, good night. Hi, Bixby. Good night. Bixby will turn on do not disturb mode. Set my ringer to vibrate. Optimize my device by clearing temporary data and putting background apps to sleep. Turn on my always on display so I could use it as a bedside clock. Turn on my blue light filter. Check to see if I have any app updates and update them. Turn on a nightlight for the kids and turn off all the other lights in my house. That's a ton of stuff accomplished just by saying a few words. Obviously this can be programmed to do pretty much anything. So think about the things you do on a daily basis and I'm sure you can find dozens of your own uses for this. If you track your meals using the Samsung Health app, you'll love this next feature. Bixby can help you add meals a lot faster if you say something like, Hi Bixby. Open Samsung Health and add Quaker's Maple and Brown Sugar Instant Oatmeal to my breakfast. Sure, you can choose the specific item you ate from the list here. Now just a couple more taps and I'm done. A surprisingly useful feature, and one that I've actually used a lot, is using Bixby to download apps from the App Store. Just say something like, Hi Bixby. Open Play Store and download Spotify Music. Alright, I'm downloading it. And there you have it, automatically downloading. Bixby has a ton of useful commands just for the Gallery app. For example, if I want to find a photo, I can just say something like, Hi Bixby. Show me photos of waterfalls. Okay, I found eight pictures. Hi Bixby. Set the third photo as my home screen background. edit your wallpaper here. Check the screen. So this is just a quick example of some things you could do with a gallery, but you could also search for other things like pictures of people smiling or pictures of specific people or pictures of objects like cars, bicycles, animals, and so forth. 
Basically, if you're trying to find a picture on your device, just ask Bixby and try to describe it as best you can, and chances are it'll find it for you. You can even do things like edit photos, add specific effects to photos, you can move photos from specific days, times, or locations into specific folders, you can create new folders, pretty much anything you can do in the gallery, you can do by voice. So if there's ever anything you want to do in the gallery and you don't know where exactly it is or how exactly to do that in the gallery, just ask Bixby and chances are it's going to take you right to it. I'm one of those people that keeps a budget of everything I buy and sometimes I can't always get a receipt. Like maybe I'm at a gas station and I filled up but the pump ran out of receipt paper. In that case, I just snap a photo of how much I paid and then say something like, Hi Bixby. Add a recent photo to my budget note. and put it here. So from here I just tap the last photo I took, tap save, and I'm done. If there's something that I can't take a picture of, I can just add text instead like this. Hi Bixby. Add $12 for burgers to my budget note. Let's save it to go on. Now obviously this can work for more than just budgets. Maybe you've got some ideas that you want to work on. You can quickly add those to a list called great ideas or something like that. Or maybe you've got a to-do list that you're going to keep track of and you want to add more things to your to-do list. You can do that too. So there's lots of different things you can do here. And even if there's something that you don't think Bixby will be able to do in the notes app, just ask and see what happens. If you're ever at a store and you want to know if you could find something cheaper online, you can just say something like, hi Bixby, scan this barcode. Then just take your product, bring the barcode into focus. Sure. Let's check out the results. And Bixby will show the results right there. $30 for this thing on Amazon. This also works for QR codes. Hi Bixby. Scan this QR code. Okay, scanning now. Okay, I scanned the QR code. And there you have it. Now I've got a user guide too. This next one's particularly useful for business professionals or travelers. You can translate menus or signs whenever you're out of the country. Just say, Hi Bixby. Open Bixby Vision and translate this. All right, scanning it now. Let's select the text to translate. So as you can see, it grabbed the text, automatically figured out that it was German, and then translated it to English for me. Not bad at all. And then I can just scroll through here and see all the text that's on the screen, and I can read all of it right here. You can also resize the area that's translated in case you just want a specific line translated. You can also extract text using Bixby Vision just by saying, Hi Bixby. Open Bixby Vision and extract this text. Okay, scanning now. Okay, it's saved. So this text is actually a code that can get you a $5 Visa gift card if you enter it as a Samsung Pay promotion code in the Samsung Pay app. Once you make your first purchase using Samsung Pay, we'll both get a $5 Visa gift card. Hurry though, this is my last code and it's only good for the first 40 people who use it. Just like Google Assistant, Bixby can also add reminders, but it can take things a step further. First, let me add something to one of my reminders to show you what I mean. Hi Bixby. Add milk to my shopping list reminder. So if I go back into the shopping list reminder, you can see it added a milk checkbox there. And that's cool. That's nice. It's nice to have little checkboxes so you can check things off as you're at the grocery store. But you can do one more thing that makes this pretty useful. Let me first just back out to the home screen. So if I'm going into the store, let's say I pull into the parking lot and I want to pull this list up quickly and I want it to just stay on my screen for the whole time I'm at the store, I can just say something like, Hi Bixby. 
Pin my shopping list reminder to my always on display. Let's set always on display now. So if I didn't light sound a bit, you could see that the list is pinned to my always on display. So what this means is whenever I take my phone out of my pocket, I don't have to push any buttons. I don't have to turn the screen on. This is just going to be on the display the whole time I'm at the store. So I can just quickly glance to see what else is on my list without having to unlock my phone, go into any apps or do anything like that. It's just all right there in front of me. But if I did want to quickly get to the list, all I have to do is just double tap the list and it takes me right to it. Bixby allows you to safely check your notifications while you're driving without ever having to look at your phone. All you have to say is, hi Bixby, read my notifications. Sure, we have four notifications. Messages, one notification, Samsung Health, one notification, Android System, one notification, Gear as plugin, one notification. So now that I know I have a notification from messages, I can ask Bixby to read the message specifically. Hi Bixby. Read my message notification. Got it. I'll read you the one notification from message. Someone important. This is some important text you need to respond to. And now that I know I have an important message, I can just ask Bixby to reply with whatever important thing I have to say back. However, to be honest, Google does a much better job at sending messages in particular, so if you're going to send a message, I would use Google instead. And that actually brings up another great point, is that both Google and Bixby can be used at the same time. So as you saw, I could say something like, hi Bixby, and Bixby will activate, but I could also say, okay Google, and Google will activate. So as you can see, you could use both of them at the same time, and that's another awesome feature because Bixby has some things that it does much better than Google, while the Google Assistant does other things much better than Bixby. So when you put the two together, you've got really, really powerful voice commands. This was just a small sample to give you guys an idea of how powerful Bixby can be. And more functions are being added every few weeks through something called Bixby Labs. These are apps that Samsung's currently adding functionality to, but they should still be considered beta apps. Once Samsung finishes ironing out the bugs, the apps will move out of the labs category and should work much more consistently. Samsung's also slowly expanding the supported apps, so keep an eye out on the Bixby Labs section for new apps. Like the video if you liked it, share it if you loved it, and subscribe to see the rest of my Note 8 coverage. And while you're at it, smash that notification bell so you can be the first to know when a new Note 8 video drops. That's it for this tech episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.